Hello and welcome to Geek Must Have and this is another post bag. Got uh, something from China, I think something from uh, Amazon, and something from Adafruit. I'm looking forward to what's in this package. So let's start with one from, can't read it, it says it's in Michigan, but the package it comes from Singapore Air, so it'll be curious to see what's inside of here. It's real soft some instructions that I should easily be able to decipher. It does says ESP8266 5 volt, which is Wi-Fi chip and an ICSK057A. So, two things in here. This is actually a ESP8266 Wi-Fi relay module. All right, um, it's a basically a Wi-Fi switch. And that's what it looks like. It's got the uh, ESP8266 card plugged into the side of this big honking relay here. And then there's some support chips on the bottom. This is supposed to work within 400 meters, but we all know it's probably maybe better than half of that. It's a Wi-Fi device. But the idea is you're supposed to be able to turn that switch on and off by sending a Wi-Fi signal to it. It's 5 volts. And then a serial port connector right here. don't actually have a project for this yet, but I think it was so cheap I couldn't pass it up. ICSK057A. That's what this is. This is a set of electronic dice. So it uses the NE555 timer chip and some uh, five millimeter LEDs. So you can see the five millimeter LEDs. Let's open it up and see what the kit looks like. It's all discrete components. There's no surface mount parts here. I have problems with surface mount. Every time I try to solder surface mount stuff, I screw it up. So there's a couple of transistors here, a handful of these LEDs. There's a triple five chip and the chip I'm not really certain about. Circuit board. This comes from the IC station, folks. Uh, something, it, it's a fairly good board. One of the things I noticed about the IC station stuff is that their prices are higher. Uh, the website looks a little more professional. The same boards, the same IC station boards, are cheaper on AliExpress than they are on the IC station's own website. Don't quite understand that. That'll be a fun little kit to put together. Got it all stuck back in another bag. There are actually six transistors in there, which kind of makes sense. I'm going to see if I can find one of these that has like two sets of dice next to each other because usually when you're playing games, you have a pair of dice, not just a set. Uh, the alternative is to get another one of these and rig them so that they both uh, trigger off of the same switch. The second item, pretty certain, is from Amazon. Project boxes. I have this thing about project boxes that I should have sizes that I need when I need them. And these are little cute little ones. And 60 centimeters by 35-ish by 20-ish. Unfortunately, a little small for the dice box. Covers fit really tight. It's got uh, mounting uh, bases there to be able to screw things into and a couple inside of the box as well. Always pays to have extras. And the last package in today's post bag comes from Adafruit. I think I know what's in here and I'm looking forward to it. It's actually a couple of little things. One is Adafruit box for a Raspberry Pi Zero. I like these boxes that they have. They have the, uh, they snap together. They're very well made. Uh, they they snap together. The this panel here flips off, so you can get to the the GPIO connectors. It's got uh, connector on the. It's got an opening on the side for the SD and all the ports. It snaps together and holds the Raspberry Pi Zero pretty well. And speaking of Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. That one single character, the W, is the game changer when it comes to small, little, single board computers. In the past, when you had a Raspberry 
Pi Zero. For you to be able to have it talk to the internet, you either had to hook it up with a USB cable to a PC or get a shield or something that fit on top of it that gave it wireless. For And the Raspberry Pi Zero cards were $5 a piece. So the Raspberry Pi people said, how about if we put a Wi-Fi chip right on the card? And they did. They put a little Wi-Fi chip right on the card. All right? And I believe it's this little silver one right there. And then they came up with a real funky funnel antenna. I don't know if you can see it right there. That's the antenna right there. So this is a Raspberry Pi that's wireless. So you hook this up to a power supply. It has SD slot in the side where you put the Raspbian SD to boot this. And by installing enough software, you can use this as a web server if you wanted to. So one of the projects I'm going to have is to include this as well as a couple of other little components to turn this into a portable web server so that I can use it for when I'm teaching classes. So we have a web server we can just put on the table and turn it on. It'll be battery powered and rechargeable. It should be kind of a keen way to show how small you can get a server. Other nice thing about it is it has a camera adapter right there on the end. And recently I just got a infrared camera with uh, two infrared little lights that sit on either side. Kind of looks like a Wally -E robot head. Maybe I'll put those all together, but these are $10 a piece from Adafruit. So that's a $10 computer that's wireless. You toss another $15 worth of parts in there and you have a $25 web server. You can make it a file server by adding, you know, another SD card. This is a game changer. This is going to make computing different in the sense that it's going to be easy to put projects together and the Internet of Things will become a whole lot easier. At Adafruit, these are typically out of stock. They're $10. If you buy just one, you pay like $8 for shipping. So, you know, you're paying a lot for shipping, but getting these right now is very difficult. You won't find these at all on any of websites like Alibaba, AliExpress, etc. The only place I've been able to find them so far is on Adafruit and a couple of the other Spark Fun sites. Availability is a little scarce, so I'm really glad that this came in. I'm going to have some fun with this. Wished I had remembered to get the headers for it. So that's today's post bag. There's a couple interesting things in there, especially this little Raspberry Pi Zero W or wireless card. 